Hello friends, I'm astrologer and Vastu consultant Ridhi Behel. Today, I'm going to talk to you about career options, about profession, about what kind of profession is best suited to you. A lot of people ask me this question that we have tried different professions, but success, but we were not successful. Or what is the right kind of uh, work or right kind of profession that we should get into? So today I'm going to talk to you about all this in detail. In a horoscope, in the Lagn Kundli that we call, the 10th house, which is the Karm Bhav, which talks about your profession. Now to know specifically, you know, what exactly suits you, what is the right timing for you to enter into any kind of work or any kind of business, we dissect this 10th house into a proper kundli now that this dissection what we get out of this dissection of this house the kundli that we got we get we call we call it as the shamsh kundli so people who have little knowledge of astrology or who are learning astrology will be able to understand this better that what is a the shamsh kundli so for people who don't know astrology much the shamsh kundli in detail analyzes your work or your profession so the very first house of the Dashamsh Kundli tells that how or what kind of business, you know, growth or prospects do you have? See, when we make a prediction, so apart from the houses, like there are 12 houses in astrology and there are 12 signs and 9 planets and 27 nakshatras. So we, you know, study all of them in detail. So astrology is you know combination and permutation of all these in totality so when we make a prediction we take all these into consideration why i'm telling you this because a lot of people you know come to me saying that oh my venus is exalted it is so good so that means you know in venus dasha everything will be good 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 only for me or my mars is not very good it is debilitated and i'm very soon going to start with mars dasha so this is going to be a bad period for me well, see, that's not the case. As I said, you know, it is not just one planet or one house that we take into consideration. We take the entire horoscope. We take all the houses, all the Rashis, the signs and the planets into consideration to give a prediction. Okay, so the first house of the Dashamsha Kundli, which I said talks about your profession. That what kind of professional growth will you achieve in this life? How far will you go in life as far as professional goals or professional growth is concerned? So the Rashi uh, or the sign in the um, Lagan of the Shamsha is very important. That determines a lot of um, things about, tells a lot of things about your professional career. Then comes the second house. The second house is the house of self-earned income. It is the house of resources. Where will the money come from if you are to start a business? That the second house will tell. Second house is also known as the Kutumb Bhav. Kutumb means family. So whether you will do a family business, a lot of people ask me that should I join my family business? Or whether you will get into a profession which has been, you know, already been followed by a family. Suppose your family members are architect, will you pursue architecture only? So all this determines the, all this comes from the second house. As I said, it is also the house of self-earned income. So to what extent and how much money you will be earning with your own efforts will the second house tell us. Also, second house represents the banking sector. So people who are associated with the banking sector, we get to know by seeing your Dashamsha charts, second house. Third house. Third house is the house of hobbies. Somebody who is fond of music makes it as a profession or a painter or a sculpture. You know, hobby converting into your profession. That the third house tells. Third house is also the house of travel. Now here we have to see one very important thing that whether you will be traveling because of your work or you will get into a profession of travel where you will make other people travel like a travel agent. In that case, the Rashi, the sign makes a very important, plays a very important role. Suppose if there are movable signs, movable signs are 
वन फोर सेवन एंड टेन दैट इज एरीज कैंसर लिब्रा एंड केप्रिकॉन सो सपोज इफ दीज साइंस आर देयर इन योर टेंथ हाउस दैट मीन्स यू विल बी ट्रेवलिंग बिकॉज दे आर मूवेबल साइंस सपोज इफ फिक्सड साइंस आर देयर फिक्स साइंस आर टू फाइव एट एंड इलेवन सपोज इफ फिक्सड साइंस आर देयर इन योर थर्ड हाउस दैट मीन्स योर वर्क विल बी सच दैट यू विल बी यू नो स्टेबल इट विल यू विल बी एट वन प्लेस यू विल नॉट डू लॉट ऑफ ट्रेवल बिकॉज ऑफ योर वर्क सो दिस ऑल वी गेट टू सी फ्रॉम दी थर्ड हाउस सो इफ योर थर्ड हाउस इज मेकिंग अ कनेक्शन विद योर टेंथ हाउस सो इधर यू विल कन्वर्ट योर हॉबी इन टू योर प्रोफेशन और यू विल यू नो गेट इन टू ट्रेवल वर्क सो also as i said in the beginning uh, the planet placed in the third house or the planet which is making a connection with the third house will determine further more things like cooking you know a lot of people are fond of cooking and they make cooking as a profession so what are the planets which represents cooking moon and mars so if moon and mars is making a connection with the third house that means you will convert your hobby of cooking into a profession so this is how we see interesting isn't it ओके देन कम्स दी फोर्थ हाउस फोर्थ हाउस इज सुख भाव इट इज दाउस ऑफ हैप्पीनेस नो इफ योर टेंथ हाउस इज मेकिंग अ कनेक्शन विद योर फोर्थ हाउस यू विल बी हैप्पी डूइंग वॉट एवर यू आर डूइंग आई नो सो मेनी पीपल हु आर यू नो अर्निंग वेरी वेल और आर एट अ गुड पोजिशन यू नो बट आर नॉट वेरी हैप्पी विद द काइंड ऑफ वर्क दे आर डूइंग दैट मीन्स द फोर्थ हाउस इज नॉट वेरी वेल or the fourth lord is not very well placed and vice versa also fourth house is the house of comforts so how comfortable the office environment or your work environment will be determines on the fourth house so the good position of the fourth house of the fourth lord lord the better will be the environment the more happy you will be with your work fifth house Fifth house is the house of creativity. Fifth house is the house of teaching. In the natal chart, in the lagan kundli, we see fifth house for children also. So here, as far as the work is concerned, how do we relate that with the fifth house in the shams chart? Fifth house also indicates the team working under you, your juniors. So how will the team under you perform? What will be your comfort level with them? This is determined from the fifth house. whether you will take a profession of teaching or you will get you know have a business of teaching you know anything to do with teaching the fifth house will tell us creativity also how creative will you be that also the fifth house tells us so if there is a connection again with the fifth house and the 10th house your professions will be either of the ones i just mentioned then comes sixth house sixth house is the house of loans whether i'll start my business by taking a loan if i take a loan for my work will i be able to repay all this the sixth house will be able to tell us better taxation related issue this also the sixth house tells competition also we see from the sixth house that how i will be able to perform with the competition around will the competition affect my work or whether it will not bother me i'll win over my competitors this also the sixth house tells us seventh house in the lagan kundli or in the natal chart we see seventh house for marriage marriage is partnership right in profession also this is one question that i get very often that should i work in partnership will partnership suit me all this we can see from the seventh house also should i work with my spouse or should i have a partnership as far as work was concerned with my spouse will it be favorable will it be suitable this also the seventh house tells seventh house is also the house for networking whether it's business whether it is job networking plays a very important role in nowadays time also your public image what kind of image are you carrying people your colleagues your subordinates or your clients are they happy with you or they unhappy with you do they value you all this the seventh house will tell better then comes the eighth house eighth house is the house of hidden resources eighth house is the house of secrecy 
So people, you know, who are working as secret agents, people working with CBI or other such, such uh, you know, organizations where their identity is kept as a secret. So for that, we see the eighth house. Eighth house is also the house of research. So people who are into researches, various kinds of researches, you know. So their eighth house is very active. Also, eighth house is the house of fluctuations and suddenness. Like I said, you know, a lot of people come to me say that, you know, we have changed different businesses or, you know, we did not stay, um, you know, in a job. We can't stay in a job for more than six months. Why so? So here your eighth house must be making a connection with your 10th house. When eighth and 10th makes a connection, then stability lacks. Also, there is suddenness. You know, if the good happens, that also happens suddenly. If the bad happens, that also happens suddenly. Also, when I'm talking all this, I'm sure this question must be running your minds. Then is, are there solutions to it? Uh, can we overcome if there are challenges? Well, yes, there are certainly suggestions, uh, you know, uh, remedies to it. There are, you know, ways how you can certainly overcome these challenges also. In that case, I need to, you know, check your individual kundlis or your individual charts to tell you solutions. After the eighth house comes the ninth house. Ninth house is the house of luck. You know, 10 people are given the same task and somebody's work is really appreciated or one particular person out of 100 is chosen for a particular project. Why? That is because his ninth house is good or the dasha of the ninth house is running, which is a lucky dasha. Also, ninth house is the house for spirituality. So the spiritual gurus or people who make spirituality as their profession, for that, the connection of ninth and 10th is very important. Then comes the 10th house, 10th house, which is the Karam Bhav. And as I'm explaining, the connection of 10th house with the various houses indicates what kind of profession will suit you better or what kind of work you should get into. 10th house also tells whether, you know, you'll get into a job, whether you'll do business, you'll be a self-earned person, you know, all this that 10th house tells. If 10th house makes a connection with sun, because 10th house we see for administrative work and sun is the, you know, planet for power and authority, also government and 10th house also we see for government. So, you know, if you are doing anything which is related to administration or which is related to government, you know, you are in a government employee, you are an IAS or, you know, your work involves where there are government contracts or you have to deal with the government or maybe in a private company, but you are an admin head. So, there has to be a connection of sun and the 10th house for all these professions. Then comes 11th house. 11th house is the house of fulfillment of desires. So, you know, and it is the house of profits, gains. So if your 10th house is making a connection with your 11th house, all your desires will be fulfilled. In case of promotions, you know, in case of pay hikes, also we see the role of 11th house is very important. In that case, the role of second house, which I said is a uh, self-earned income house and 11th house, which is the house of desires and, you know, promotions. So if there is a connection of second and 11th and you're running the dasha of these two planets, then there is bound to be profits or there's bound to be uh, promotion in your case. Also, 11th house is also the house of your bosses. A lot of people have this query, especially people who are working, who are, uh, you know, um, in uh, some kind of a job. They come and ask me, my job, my boss is not happy with me or I don't get along well with my boss. In that case, your 11th house needs to be analyzed. 12th house. 12th house is the house of foreign connect, foreign connect. So if your work involves, you know, anything to do with foreign lands, you're into export, import or anything, you know, then your 10th house will have a connection with the 12th house. Your work might involve traveling to, you know, foreign lands or, you know, you, your work being sent to foreign countries or you getting recognition in foreign countries. That also the 12th house tells. So see friends, this is how we analyze the Dashamsha Kundli in detail and it gives a very clear picture about how and what kind of profession will you opt for. Do give me your feedback and take care. Thank you so much.